From dreaming about flying in the skies to building hypersonic jets, from looking at the sun with awe to sending spacecrafts towards it, if the world around us has changed so much over the past few centuries, don't even think for a second that the food that you eat hasn't changed from ancient times. Due to the techniques like selective breeding, most of the foods of our ancestors are lost in history. However, some have stood the test of time and have maintained their individuality from ancient times. Due to this, they have maintained their unique health benefits that the modern world can't help but recognize. In this video, we're going to look at the seven most common ancient grains and health benefits they have carried along with them for all these centuries. What are ancient grains? As the name suggests, ancient grains have survived human mingling and have remained unchanged for several centuries. Through the developments of techniques like selective cropping, breeding, mutation, and genetic modification, we have altered the properties of many foods, mostly for getting a greater yield, to increase the survivability of a crop, or to even get a blend of properties of two different foods altogether. Where this has increased yields and produced more environment-resistant crops, it has slowly stripped away the individuality of different crops. But is it true that the ancient grains are healthier than the modern varieties? In some aspects, it is true. Certainly, the ancient grains have a lot more fiber to them than the modern varieties. A wide range of nutrients also give ancient grains an edge. Also, since the ancient grains flourish with a lower level of pesticide, fertilizers, and irrigation, they are more close to nature and free from chemicals, making them a healthier option. Finally, since all the ancient grains are whole grains with bran and germ intact, they have the added benefits of fiber, phytochemicals, antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals that are usually lost in the modern refined grains. Many ancient grains have sprung up in the market lately. Let's look at the seven most common ancient grains and their benefits. Number one, buckwheat. If you haven't had a buckwheat porridge yet, you're missing out on something special. Classified a pseudo-cereal, buckwheat is another ancient grain that has maintained its form for all these centuries. Even if you claim that you haven't checked it out yet, chances are that you are already quite familiar with this grain. Since its flour is commonly used to make noodles, crackers, pancakes, and bread, also, don't get taken in by the name. It's not related to wheat in any way and is gluten-free. As for its nutritional value, it even leaves the celebrated wheat behind in the dust. 100 grams or 3.5 ounces of raw buckwheat contains 71.5 grams of carbs, 13.3 grams of protein, 0 sugar, 10 grams of fiber, and 3 grams of fat. Also, 10% of its weight accounts for water content. All of this in just 343 calories. The first major health benefit of this grain is its ability to improve blood sugar control. It is one of the few things that people with type 2 diabetes can eat without worrying about their blood sugar levels. Some animal studies even suggest that buckwheat intake can lower blood sugar levels. Secondly, buckwheat has also been shown to promote heart health. This is due to the presence of compounds like rutin, copper, magnesium, fiber, and proteins that are thought to be beneficial for heart health. Rutin and buckwheat can cut the risk of heart disease by preventing the formation of blood clots and reducing inflammation and blood pressure. Number 2. Amaranth All celiac disease patients listen up. Amaranth is a perfect wheat replacement for celiac patients since it is gluten-free. The cultivation of amaranth is as ancient as history itself, with some of the earliest records suggesting that it has been cultivated for more than 8,000 years. Amaranth also lives up to the nutrient-rich reputation of ancient grains. One cup of cooked amaranth contains 46 grams of carbohydrates, 9 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat, 4 grams of fiber, 91% of the daily recommended value of manganese, 38% for magnesium, and 29% for iron. And guess how many calories account for all of this nutrition? Only 251. Amaranth has been linked with many benefits, but the most common ones are its ability to reduce the risk of heart disease and also inflammation. It reduces the risk of heart disease by reducing total cholesterol levels while raising the HDL or good cholesterol levels as found by an animal study. Number 3. Kamut We have talked about how amaranth and buckwheat can replace modern wheat, but there's a better way to replace wheat with ancient wheat. Einkorn farro, spelt, and kamut are some of the varieties of ancient wheat that have once again found their way into the markets. These varieties are unadulterated from human mingling and so have kept their individuality for all this time. Kamut is one such wheat variety with high fiber content. It is also known as the Khorasan wheat and has been linked with many health benefits. Replacing the modern wheat with Kamut won't necessarily mean that you'd be losing out on the nutrients of wheat, since the nutrient content of this grain is no joke. 
One cup of cooked Komoot contains 48 grams of carbs, 10 grams of protein, 1 gram of fat, 7 grams of fiber, which amounts to around 30% of the daily recommended value. 100% of the daily recommended value of selenium, 29% for zinc, and 25% for vitamin B3. All of this for just 227 calories. As for the benefits, Komoot is widely considered an excellent grain for reducing blood sugar levels and promoting heart health by reducing risk factors of heart disease like LDL cholesterol. However, due to the presence of gluten, it is not suitable for people with celiac disease or gluten sensitivity. Number 4. Barley Hailing from the distinguished grass family, barley truly fits the definition of ancient, being one of the earliest cultivated grains. If you ever went to the grains corner of the supermarket, you may have seen barley in different forms. This is because barley is sold in both hold and pearled formats. If you have not yet tried barley in any of your dishes, which is highly unlikely since barley is among the most widely consumed ancient grains in America, it is commonly used to prepare risottos, stews, and soups. The nutritional contents of barley make it a favorite among other grains. One cup of cooked barley contains 44 grams of carbs, 4 grams of protein, 1 gram of fat, 6 grams of fiber, 25% of the daily recommended value of selenium, 12% for iron, and 11% for vitamin B1. All of these nutrients for just 193 calories. Due to its high beta-glucan content, intake of barley is linked with improved heart health. Beta-glucan is a type of soluble fiber that dissolves in water and forms a gel-like substance in the gut that useful gut bacteria feed upon. Number 5. Millet While a sparrow sure loves to feast on millet, it should not be considered just bird food. Millet is an ancient pseudo-cereal that is considered a staple in China, India, and Africa. It is widely hailed for its low-calorie content, but that doesn't take anything away from its nutritional value. One cup of cooked millet has 41 grams of carbs, 6 grams of protein, 2 grams of fiber, 2 grams of fat, 21% of daily recommended value of manganese, 19% of magnesium, and 15% of vitamin B1. And the best part is, all of this is packed with a mere 174 calories. The most commonly reported health benefits of millet include reduction in heart disease risk, reduction in inflammation, and improvement in blood sugar control. One study in 105 people with type 2 diabetes found that the post-meal blood sugar levels can be reduced to about 27% by replacing rice with millet in a meal. Number 6. Teff Now we present to you the world's smallest grain, with an average size of approximately 0.7 to 1% that of a wheat kernel but that doesn't mean that it is inferior in nutritional value to other grains on our list. 3.5 ounces or 100 grams of teff contains 73 grams of carbs, 13.3 grams of protein, 2 grams of fat, 8 grams of fiber, a massive 402% of the daily recommended value of manganese, 90% for copper, 98% for vitamin C, 44% for magnesium, 42% for iron, 34% for phosphorus, and 33% for zinc. Ha, <laughs> ha. Let me catch my breath. I thought it won't finish. <laughs> Not that tiny anymore, is it? All of these nutrients bestowed Teff with some amazing health benefits. Due to its high concentrations of vitamin C, it can boost immune and bone health. Also, it can help with tackling iron deficiency anemia due to its iron content. That explains the rarity of conditions like these in Ethiopia, where people consume Teff a lot. Number 7. Quinoa the last but not the least of the ancient grains on our list is quinoa. It is one of the popular ones, and the nutritional contents explain why. One cup of cooked quinoa contains 39 grams of carbs, 8 grams of protein, 4 grams of fat, 5 grams of fiber, 51% daily recommended value of manganese, 28% for magnesium, 23% for phosphorus, 19% for folate, and 19% for zinc. All of this in just 222 calories. Antioxidants like quercetin and camphorol give quinoa its anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties, as shown by animal studies. Also, it is an ideal plant-based source of protein for vegetarians, boasting 8 grams of protein per cup of quinoa. This high-protein content of quinoa helps in alleviating hunger and promoting weight loss. Finally, to summarize, ancient grains have remained unchanged for several centuries and have maintained their individuality due to the presence of additional fiber and nutrients. These grains are considered healthier than their modern counterparts. Most commonly used ancient grains include buckwheat, amaranth, kamut, barley, millet, teff, and quinoa. Two health benefits are commonly found in the majority of these grains. Firstly, most of them help with blood sugar control. Secondly, they can promote heart health.
We hope that you benefited from this video. If you did, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Want to see more videos like this one? Please subscribe to our channel, Welcome to Wellness, and press that bell icon as well so you never miss another video. We'll see you in another healthy video. Until then, take care.